Hi, my name is Chase Arnett, and I'm the founder of The Hudson Oven, a small cottage industry bakery here in the lower Hudson Valley. I wanted to take a quick minute today, quick being the uh, key word here, to show you our Irish soda bread brick. This is actually a quick bread that all you have to do is add a little bit of butter, uh, some cold water, mix it together, and you're ready to bake. And let's just get started. So first, you want to preheat your oven to 450 degrees. If you're using a cast iron skillet, you want to preheat that in the oven as well. Um, in this case, we're just going to be using a standard sheet pan with a little bit of uh, parchment paper. We're going to need our bread brick, we're going to need a, three quarters of a stick of butter, and we're going to need one cup of really cold water. So all we're going to do is remove the bread brick from its packaging, save the packaging so that way you have the, uh, the direction still. We're going to open the brick using the tear tab at the top, pour the contents into a bowl, and then we're going to cut three quarters of a stick of butter into small pea-sized cubes. I'm cutting the stick of butter down lengthwise and then I'm chopping it as cross sections into cubes of butter. Now a key with the butter here is that you have nice cold butter so that way uh, your knife can cut through it and it doesn't, and it doesn't uh, stick too badly. Uh, break it up a little bit on the cutting board but don't be afraid just throw it right into the flour. The flour is actually going to help you break up those cubes and separate them. So now that we have it in our flour, we're going to go through and, and quickly separate those cubes. This is a fun part for your kids if you have them or, or a baking partner or whoever you're living with or even if you're just alone. It's still fun. I don't mind baking alone. I do it all the time, but that's just me. Now this is going to make a nice decent sized loaf of bread, so obviously you'll have enough to share uh, if you're willing. It is pretty delicious. So once the butter is fully broken up in the, in the flour blend, we're going to take our cold water and just add it right in. Not too much fuss. We're going to start by mixing with our pointer finger, at least that's what I like to do, so that way my whole hand doesn't get covered in, in dough, and that way I don't waste too much dough as well. I want, I want to preserve as much of this as I can and get a nice decent sized loaf. Once the water is pretty evenly absorbed, uh, then you can sort of start using your full hand and just pressing. You're not exactly kneading this dough, I wouldn't say. This is more of like a, a, a press with an effort to include all of the ingredients and the dry flour that ends up, in, uh, ends up at the bottom of the bowl. So as you're pressing it, it just naturally comes into a round shape. Not pressing too hard. Remember, the whole goal here is to include all of the ingredients. You're not kneading for the purpose of developing gluten structure. I love this bread because it's a nice, quick, easy bread to make. It takes only about an hour until you have the finished product. And it's just a great way to taste the grains that your, your region has to offer. I mean, we make our bread bricks um, with freshly milled flour from upstate New York, um, milled to order, and then we vacuum seal them. And the whole point of that is just to preserve those, those flavors and keep them from oxidizing until, of course, you open the brick and, and make your own bread. All right, so now that we have a nice dry dough ball, we're gonna place it on our baking surface, press it down just slightly, and we're gonna score it across the top. Now you wanna cut a pretty decent slice. Some people even go so far as to cut all the way through down to the baking surface, which is up to you. You can try different methods. But I like to get it about halfway down the whole, the whole dough mass. Now because we're baking on a standard sheet pan, oh, a little chunk of butter, I'm gonna add that right in the middle there. Um, because we're baking on a standard sheet pan, we don't need to preheat this baking surface. Um, if you were doing a cast iron, like I said, you want to preheat that in the oven to make sure it's, and it's nice and warm. That gives you a pretty dark bottom. Uh, gives you definitely more of a rustic Irish soda bread look. Um, so, all right, we're going to put this in the oven at 450 degrees for about 45 minutes. We're going to check it on the 30 minute mark and see where we're at. But this should make a really nice loaf of Irish soda bread for you to enjoy uh, really any time of year. But with the holiday coming up, I figured this could be something fun, sort of an easy, quick bread for you to make with friends and family um, and to have with your Irish stews on the day of. All right, I'll be back in about 30 minutes, 45 minutes to show you our finished product. I'll see you then. All right, so 45 minutes later, here we have our finished loaf of Irish soda bread. Uh, it's really just that simple. You just mix the ingredients with water and butter, bake for about 45 minutes, and you have a nice finished loaf. Uh, this is a great way of sort of an entry-level bread uh, bread kit that you can try with your kids um, or even just for you to, to use yourself. Um, like I said, you can have it done in a little bit under an hour, um, and it's a delicious way to try the grains that this region has to offer. I'd like to thank you for trying out Hudson Oven Bread Brick products. This is Chase Harnett with the Hudson Oven signing off. I'll see you next time. Cheers.